In this module, we will continue interpreting our results and learn how to report the results after our analysis. Hence, we've been talking about the age. And we want to see how age is distributed among various categories of the results. The first type of graph that we obtained is a histogram. Since age is a, is a continuous variable, histogram is the appropriate type of chart that could be drawn. One can see clearly here that this data shows a negative skew where peak is right here and there is a tail on the left side. So this is a left tailed data which indicates that data is negatively skewed. And when, when the data is negatively skewed again, we will report median and interquartile range. Similarly, for histogram for the variable age in ulcer detected category, though it doesn't show a really good shape, but in this situation, we can rely on the results of coefficient of skewness. And we learned that the age in the years for ulcer detected category showed positive skewed data. The other measure is stem and leaf plot. In stem and leaf plot, we can again see the negative skew data for no ulcer detected category and positively skewed data for ulcer detected category. These are the normal QQ plot, which shows that the data is not normal. If the data is not normal, then it's confirmed that it's not going to be symmetric. And if it's not going to be symmetric, then to report the results, the appropriate measure is not going to be arithmetic mean and the standard deviation, but appropriate measure is the median and the interquartile range. Same we could see from ulcer detected group. It's again, all these dots are not on this 45 degree line, which shows that the distribution is again not symmetric. The observation over here will show that it's a heavy tailed distribution, which shows that the data is positively skewed. Hence, again, median is, median is the most appropriate measure to report here. The other important measure is the box plot. In this box plot, we can see that this value down here is the first quartile. The value in the middle, this bar, represents Q2, which is the median, and this is Q3, which is the upper quartile. So this box in this box and whisker plot apparently talks about the 50% of the data that is in between Q2 and Q3. Rest of the 25% data at the top is represented by this whisker and below 25% data is represented by this whisker. Sometimes if there is any outlying observation from on the top side, you could see a star here. Or if an outlying observation in, is in the bottom, you could see star right here. Now the question comes, how to treat those outlying observation? Many people often do that they throw the, the outlying observation out of the data, which is not the best solution. The very first thing, if you find an outlier in the data, is, is to investigate that why this value is an outlier. Is this a legit outlier or not? If it's a legit outlier, investigate it, that why this value is that way. Is this some real reason associated to it or not? But if the outlier is just by mistake of typing an error, or typing, or it's just a misrecording of the value, in that case, one should first try to fix that value. If you are unable to fix the value, that's when you can ex exclude this value from the data. But if there is no out, no uh, real outlier present in the data, like in this situation, then we can simply start interpreting our results. In here, we could clearly see that the median for no ulcer group, median age for no ulcer group is higher as compared to median age for ulcer detected group. Moreover, 
there's a minimum age for no ulcer detected is even lesser than ulcer detected group. And similarly, the maximum age for the ulcer no ulcer detected group is higher than ulcer detected group. One can also say that within the ulcer detected group, majority of the people are of the age approximately this Q1 and between this Q3. The most importantly, here we can use this box plot to compare the two averages. It clearly says that in the no ulcer detected group, the age is higher, whereas in the ulcer detected group, the age is relatively low. Thank you.